Hey guys, what's up? It's Kinsey and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, well first off, I'm in Texas right now filming this. By the time this video goes up, I'm probably back in LA, but I wanted to film a video about like my past year, like my college experience, kind of update you guys. Um, a lot of you guys have a lot of questions. I know there's a lot of you guys who are going through like college applications soon-ish, kind of, yeah, whatever. Um, you guys just have a lot of questions regardless. If you guys are looking into Southeastern or a Southeastern extension site, campus, this is a good video to watch, but regardless, just like telling you guys about my college experience. A um, little bit of backstory, I graduated high school online. I moved out to LA my senior year. So from the summer after my senior year to the fall of my sophomore year, I was taking my classes online through Santa Monica Community College. And then I transferred in to Southeastern Extension site through Zoe Leadership College the spring of my sophomore year And so now I have done two semesters there. So I have a year there. I'm a junior I just finished out my fall semester and I'm starting my spring semester in like a week or two So the school that I go to is Zoe Leadership College. It is accredited through Southeastern University So it would be considered an extension site of Southeastern University. Zoe, if you guys are familiar with like Hillsong or something uh, Zoe is a church. We do take a few like religious classes but for the most part my classes are really normal um we go to school in the offices of zoe so we're there three days a week and um it's very i would say it's kind of like intense here's kobe um it's a pretty intensive program you're asked to do um a lot of things i love like everything that we do it doesn't feel like you're asked to do a lot of things, but if I think about it in terms of like a normal college university experience, there's a lot of things that are like out of school, like you have a lot of requirements, um, which I'm sure you would for like certain classes, but as far as like a leadership standpoint, and then um, like you're serving requirements, which most of us would do anyway, so it's actually not like, we have to, you know what I mean? So, we have classes Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, it's 9 to 3. I'm trying to, I'm like forgetting our schedule because we're on winter break. This semester, we're doing the staff devos together. So like Pastor Chad comes in, does a message. Um, we talk about what's coming up in the church. And then we go and do schoolwork for like from like 10 to 1. And then um, like 1 to 3, we have these things called workshops. Workshops are really cool actually. I don't know if every single one of the extension sites, like, I don't know how what your schedule is. I know, like, some of them are, like, way less, I don't want to say intense, because that sounds bad, I think. Um, less demanding, but that also sounds bad, because I like how, I like what we do. It's good, okay? Um, I think they just do less cool stuff, basically. But we have workshops, so we'll have someone come in. Like, we've done one on, like, finances, um, creativity music, graphic design, stuff like that, and they'll do like real life things because they don't want to send us like into like the real world and not know how to do real life. So that's really cool. Like the things that everyone tweets about and they're like, why didn't we learn this in high school? We get that, but like way cooler. Um, Wednesday, we do like the first years and the second year split up and we do teachings in the morning. So I don't have to be there until 10.30. We do that from 10.30 to 12. We have lunch from 12 to 1. 1 to 3, we have... Ooh, why am I forgetting this? I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, we have tracks. So whatever track you're serving in, um, or you just want to be on that track, like I'm in the creative track, so for two hours, we work on the creative stuff. Thursday, we have chapel in the morning, and then we used to have like outreaches, but I think we're switching that. So that's just like the general schedule of what we have. Um, our classes are all online, so... Basically, like when I wanted to go to Zoe for school, I really, my biggest thing that I wanted was I wanted to one, be around people, but also have leaders in my life. And so that was really great. That was like my main reason why I wanted to do it. So basically like I was doing online schooling already, but without everything else, which I'm so much happier doing this. I wouldn't really recommend online schooling to people unless that's like your only option. Um, I definitely had to make a lot of changes in my life to do this, but it was so worth it. Like this is the best decision I ever made. Um, I'm trying to think of any other questions before I get to the actual questions. I'm a business administration major. I'm going to get my bachelor's in business admin. Um, I graduate spring of 2020. There's a lot of college week in my life vlogs already up on my channel, so if you guys are interested in that, check them out. Tuition is like 10000 a year. Best decision I ever made. I'm so happy with where I'm at, seriously. This is never something I would have thought I would have ended up in, and I also would have never done this out of high school. So if you, like, don't... I, my situation was a little bit different. I just thought I was always going to do online college and graduate from there. But if you don't know, like, go to a community college, save the money, and then you'll figure it out. But yeah, also, I think, like, a four-year university would be, like, fun and stuff. But I'm just really glad with where I ended up 
worked out really well. How is your experience at ZLC different than a normal college experience? Um, I mean, we go to school in an office. We are like, it's very leadership intensive. So you learn a lot of things in school that you'll actually use in your life. And like, I apply this stuff to my life all, every single second of the day. Every single second you can apply something to it. Also from someone who like runs a business, it's helped me so much as far as like running a business. Um, not that anything that we're doing is a business, but just in leadership aspects, I've been able to apply those to my business, which has really helped. It, there's no like Greek life. Um, I mean, it's very different. Like it's very, very different. Social life. So our program is literally, I think right now we have like 43 people. Yeah, it's really, really small and it's growing. Come if you guys want. But um, yeah, the social life, everyone's really close, very tight knit. Um, I actually really like it. I would have never pictured myself being at a small school, but I'm really, really happy that I did that because I don't know, I was never like a small school person and I'm very pleased with this. But yeah, everyone's really tight knit, um, really inclusive, lots of like really good friends. I have like some of my best friends in the world from there. It's a normal university. Southeastern is a university and we're going to Southeastern. Like our classes are accredited through them. We're basically an online school through Southeastern. Um, but like the school that I attend is not a normal university. The struggles. Um, I think a lot of people in my program would say maybe it's just hard to like juggle and do school all the time because we're in class, but we're not actually working on our classes a lot of the time, which we do have time to work on our classes. The one thing that I think I'm like the best in is time management. So I don't really have that issue as much just because I'm so with my planner. So I've like incorporated time and stuff. So I think a lot of people would think um, getting a job in LA is hard. That's one of the things that's like definitely been an issue. And then also just like maybe like fitting time in to do your schoolwork. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that I don't live like on campus. Like we have, we don't have like a campus. We have student housing and we have them at the Park La Brea apartments. They're like a really big complex in LA. I don't live there, which I think has been really good for me because I really enjoy not living in the apartments, to be honest with you. It's really nice to have a break because a lot of them work together, live together, and go to school together. So like that would be a struggle, but everyone still loves each other. It's just like hard to be around each other that much. But yeah, we do have student housing, I know that. How do you balance life and school? Um, time management, honestly. It's hard a lot of the time, especially because we have um, a lot of like serving requirements, which again, we would do without that. So if it's hard to see friends who don't go to Zoe, honestly, but I just like make it a priority or I make it a point, but I can't do it as much as like I wish I could. It's just hard because we're very, like you're very busy, especially fall semester. Um, but it's like so fun. Everything that you do is just so fun. Mistakes you've made. The one thing that I will say is that when I started going to ZLC, I was a local, like I was already living in LA, so I already had a lot of friends in LA. So I didn't really invest in the friendships that I had at ZLC until probably like the last month of spring semester. And I almost wasn't gonna come back, not because I didn't like the program, but just for like a billion other reasons. But I got really close with everyone and then I was like, no, I definitely wanna stay, which was the best decision ever. Thank God, I don't know what I would've done if I would've left. I'm so sorry, I have to film this video really quickly and he's just making a lot of noise. So I didn't really invest into my friendships there, my relationships there, which is stupid because like obviously I'm there for a reason. So like why, you know what I mean? It was just dumb because I was still, because when I was out of school, I was like, oh, I see them at school and at church all the time. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends who like don't go to Zoe or don't go to my school. Um, which I still love all those people, but like I'm there for a reason So I should have invested more in people and now I have and now I'm really happy. What made you choose that school? I think I already said this but um, I was already getting a call. I was already getting a business degree Like there's nothing that really changed about my major at all But I just didn't like that. I was working from home and doing school from home It was a lot and then also I wanted to be under leaders like I didn't have like mentors in my life um I don't know, it was just like, and I wanted to be around people, and I wanted to be around, like I didn't want any of this stuff to get bigger than me not to have like a really strong foundation, and I didn't have people that I was like learning from in my life, so that was like my main thing. I also have a podcast with my director, Nate, and then I want to film with my other director, Sarah, and then I want to film with one with them together, um, <laughs> big work club, guys, but... I'll have that link down below and we just talk we don't talk that much about the program but it's just really good that's another thing I will say our directors are amazing like we have like literally my favorite people in the world Nate and Sarah are the best like genuinely the best directors we could ever ask for um how do you feel like it's changed your faith life definitely grown like exponentially I also think it's as a leader it's grown me like exponentially um yeah <laughs> someone said boys 
<laughs> okay, like we're in a program of 